Hey there, Heather Boyd Wire here. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make lowercase letters out of wire. And I'm using a 20 gauge copper wire from Artistic Wire. And then we're going to start with the A. I'm just going to use short pieces of about 12 inches just for practice. And then so basically for the A, you just need an, a round uh, circle and then put this wire to the back behind and then we're going to bring it around here so it goes right to the top of the circle and then just push it over push it with your finger over and then that pretty well forms the A okay so that and if you need to adjust it a bit Sometimes the wire is really soft. You can definitely adjust it a bit like that. And then we're going to bring this over and we want to make the B. So we can take, make sure this stays at the level at the bottom of the A, bring it up. You can use bigger pliers if you want. And then we're going to form the B. So basically the B is kind of like an L. So we're going to take this, make a circle or kind of a loop so make a, a kind of L shape and then bring this straight across so that's your first part and then the circle of the B so just go around here bring the wire to the back and there you have the B and then the C we can bring it up and around and then just try to get them more or less the same size. Sometimes it's a little bit tricky. And then hold this, bring it to the back, or to the front actually, bring that one to the front, get your larger pliers, and form the loop with the, like the circle with the larger pliers. Now, if you don't have large enough pliers, you can always like wrap it around like a little knitting needle or something like that. So that's going to be your C. To get to the D, I'm just going to bend it down a little bit and across here just to have a little bit of definition in the C there. And then I'm going to take this and make a circle. It's sort of like a backwards B. So we're going to make a little circle there, bring it up. There we go. And then we do the loop that looks like the L. And like you said, see, it's like a little backwards. B. So we're going to go here and then we need the E. So we're going to bring this one up here. Just adjust it a little bit and then we're going to bend it. Go around here. Perfect. And bend it across. And then to get to the next letter I would just give it another like the C. Just give it a little jog across there. You can do that. And or if you want, if you want to go straight up to your next letter, like an F, you can go straight up either way. But I have to start a new wire. For the F, we're going to start with the L shape. So take this up, bring it down, looks like an L. And then you just want to, not quite as high as the top of the L, just like maybe half of that, just bend it around here and then just bend it out and that pretty well makes your your um, F. I'll put it right side up and then the G is a lot like an A. So you start like the A, you do a circle and you go to the back and you bring it up and then you push it over like you did with the A. If you find that a little tricky to do, just get your thin pliers thin round pliers just to give it a little bit of help. You can definitely do that just to help form the point a little bit. And then for the G, we're going to go around this way and that forms the G. So here and then we're going to push it across and do the H. So the H is pretty well. The L again. Bring it around here. And then what you want to do is bend it back up. So either with your fingernail or with the pliers, just put your fingernail in there, push it up 
here and then you want to form the H with your larger round pliers so you're just going to form like the H bring that across and then you want to do the eye so there's a couple of ways to do the eyes some people just do a line straight up and down but I actually prefer to make a dot for the eye so I'm going to bring it up so we're just going to form the point of the eye so bring that over get the end of your round pliers form the eye like that and then the J is going to be very similar so just bring it around bring it up and so the J will just do that little thing again to make the dot bring it around and then bring it down and then for the J we're just going to hold the pliers here bring it around here and that's pretty well going to be our J so bring that across here for the K we're just going to bend the wire up like doing the L and then bring it around back just like you're doing a little L and then halfway down you're going to bend it up and then bend this little wire to the back for the uppercase K you would just make that a little higher and then you bend that down on an angle and then across and that is your K and then the L of course we've seen it several times bring that up form the loop bring it to the back and then across now for the M I like to do something a little bit different I'm not quite sure how other people make the M's but I just find it nice to do a teeny little loop here and you'll see what I'm doing with this is you just start your loop and then you want to actually hold the wire with your pliers and pull it quite tight so you end up having just a teeny little suggestion of a loop there and it just gives a little definition to the M and then I bring this down here okay so we've got this one here and then we're going to bring the wire to the back and form another hump there we go like the two two little humps so we're going to go like that one two and that forms the M you can wiggle it around a little bit if you need to and then the N is pretty well the same thing so you're just going to take this go around here and then I'll just fix it up a bit hold this around the same level you did before just start your loop like that and then either with the flat or the round pliers hold it and just give it a really good tug and then that just closes that circle a little bit so we're going to go around here so that makes your N super cute so we're going to bring that one across here and then what we want to do next is an O so we will get our round pliers larger round pliers and just form the O so depending on your next letter like if you're doing an L you can keep it on that level and then go up and do the L but because I'm doing a P next what I'm going to do is actually take this bring it up okay like like a cursive O and then bring this down to start forming the P so it looks a little bit like if you've written the P and then we're going to take this wire and bring it bring it like down to the same level you would have had your J and your G so bring it around here and at the level where the letters are sitting we're going to bring it across and then you want to form your circle in the piece we're going to bring it around and that'll sit behind that wire there bring it around and that is your P and then we'll get another wire for the Q so the Q is also a little bit like the A so we're going to make a circle bring it around bring the wire to the back bring it around here and then we want to push it over again like we did the the A now the Q 
it's a little bit different in that it's we're going to just bend it like at a sharper angle here so we're going to take our flat pliers and just bend it at a bit more of a sharp angle and then we want to form this kind of loop thing here it's just a little bit different so bring it here and then we're going to push this out so that becomes like the Q that's the little tail of the Q there so now R so we're going to bring this up and push this down looks like a real cursive R and then bring that one up and then bend it to the back and down so that really looks like a cursive R and then we're going to form the S so we're going to bring that around here and same thing it's like a real cursive S so we bend this to the front and then push this one over and bring that one back to form like a little a loopy thing like in the cursive S looks like that and then when it where it reaches that wire we're going to bend it to the back and across so there we go so we've got QRS and then now the T so we're going to bring this wire up bend this to the back and then we need to cross our T so wherever you want the cross to be just hold it and bend it to the left here and then we want to hold the wire and bend it over top of that initial line and then we bent it to the front and now we're going to bend it to the back and then we're going to bring this down and then we want to do the U so the U is pretty easy we're just going to do like a little just a little loop thing so that goes up for the U bend this to the front and then you could even get your larger round pliers bend this around like that and then for the U we want to actually bend this back to the back so we're going to bend that back here now the V sometimes I do the V more just like a regular V where so I would bend that on a sharp angle and then bend that to the front and then at the bottom of the V bend it up so it really it just looks like a, a really sharp V there and then we'll bring bend that to the back and then we bend that across so that really looks like a very sharp V rather than more of a like a cursive V but I like the way that looks like that and then for the W you could do it the same way so if you could bring this one up here and then down and then up and then I would actually bend this to the back and then bend this one at a sharp angle up and just check that it's sort of more or less the same you know height and then I would bend this one to the back W and that would be it for the W and then I'm going to get another wire to do the rest. So how I like to do the X is I actually just bend this up at an angle and then I would bend like where you want the top of your X to be. I would just take this wire, bend it to the back and then I would bend this one up here and then bend this to the front. So we're going to take this bend it to the front here and that forms like a kind of a X and then you can just like bend it out here so bend it at that level and then you want to do the Y so we're going to bring it up okay and the Y is pretty well you know like the U so we're going to bend this to the front here get your larger pliers bring it up so there we have the beginnings of the Y and it just really takes practice to get them all more or less the same height I still have trouble with it I've been doing this for years and it's still 
you know, sometimes hard to get the proportions right. So there's the Y. And then for the Z, there's a couple ways to do it. You can do like more of a cursive type Z. If you want to do more like a regular Z, you can just like bring this to the front. You could bring this up on an angle like that and then bring this across. Looks kind of cute like this. And then bring this back. And this one down. So this would be one way to do the Z if you just want to do something that looks just like a, a regular Z type of thing. Or if you want to do the cursive Z, you could also do that. So the cursive Z would be more like you bring this up and you bring that down. And then the cursive Z has just like this little funny little tail thing. Thing is not a lot of people read cursive anymore. So it's really up to you how you want to do the letters. And then we go to go around like this. So this is the cursive Z versus the or Z if you're in the States versus the cursive uh, Z versus the um, the kind of uh, regular Z like the sleeping Z's. So thanks so much for watching the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more DIY wire art and jewelry making videos. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I go live and when I post new videos. And if you'd like to share pictures of your wire work, be sure to join the Wire Art and Jewelry Makers Club on Facebook, where we share inspiration, tutorials, and all kinds of resources for wire jewelry making. If you'd like to check out my work on Etsy, my husband and I specialize in wedding cake toppers and custom wire jewelry. And also, if you'd like to be on my mailing list, I have a little mini ebook, Wire Art Essentials, that I'll send you, and I'll link that up below as well. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you the next time.